I figured we put the sweatband on because, uh, you know, we're playing Modern Warfare today. And the game is just so bad and sweaty that I just know that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to just put on the sweatband and go sweatband. And so what's up, guys? Foxy Goodman is here with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be using Dark Matter Ultra and Modern Warfare. So big shout out to Silent uh, VQ. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. I'll leave his channel down in the description below. Uh, he let me hop on his account. So big thank you to Silent. Appreciate you, bro. And yeah, we're just gonna do some gameplay. I'm gonna talk about whatever. It won't be a long video because I, I I don't like this game. And we're gonna be playing respawn, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna. But uh, yeah, so hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, uh, leave a like, subscribe, do all that crap. Go follow me on social media and all that stuff, you know. Um and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. All right, all right. So a lot of people know I just I don't really like this game. Let's look at this camo though. Oh, dude. Oh my. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice right there. That's real nice. Oh my god. That's so sexy. This is why Modern Warfare should have had reactive and animated camos. This is the exact reason. I don't care what anybody says. To me, I feel like Infinity Ward had this like agenda for this this cod. And honestly, I mean, they just kind of make the game, so I guess it's probably not really up to them. I don't know. I don't know why animated and reactive camos weren't in this game. They definitely deserve to be. This and the whole dark ether mod or whatever you can do it it's, it's a tool or whatever that you can get these but i don't think that's how silent got this someone last week was pretty much giving everyone dark ether and dark matter ultra and modern warfare multiplayer and warzone like it even happened to nick mercs like on stream pretty crazy and so apparently it's a, this mod tool that pretty much gives everyone uh like all unlocks and things like that and it carries over to modern warfare multiplayer which is kind of uh it's kind of freaking sick uh, so but uh, okay okay well so in my opinion i feel like this game i don't know if it was activision or if it was infinity ward i feel like it's more activision than anything but i feel like they were super i don't know what, what's the word i'm looking for they were super determined to make sure that this game was completely modern instead of i guess the, instead of the game being like having really fun elements like animated camos and things like that they just wanted to make it strictly modern i kind of wish that they had put animated cameras that would have been super cool to grind for they could have even done things where oh okay i gotta i gotta move they, they could have done stuff where they had um if you hit level 155 you get a an animated green camo i still think that obsidian should have been uh animated or have like cracks of animated green yellow purple red colors in them uh kind of like exclusion zone had in modern warfare remastered but that's just me i feel like i have to play cracked out of my mind whenever i okay yeah cool I feel like I, sorry, that guy just got completely turned on. I always feel like I have to play cracked out of my mind when I play this game. And even on Cold War sometimes, I feel like I have to try my fucking balls off. And it kind of sucks because I don't want to try my balls off all the time, you know? I just want to relax sometimes. And I feel like everyone can kind of, everyone can kind of relate to that in a way. It is what it is, like I said. So apparently the, uh, the next COD game is going to be on the Modern Warfare engine, which honestly, I really like the engine of this game. I like, you know, how the game looks. To me, it kind of looks a little bit too realistic at times, but it's cool. I, I really like the movement in this game. I kind of wish that Cold War was similar in movement to this game, but it's not, unfortunately. This game's movement is just like super smooth, man. I just don't know. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's smooth. Uh, double sprint or tact sprint, whatever is really, really nice. Is that, no, that's not a guy. As much as people like to clown on campers and things like that in this game, in my opinion, the movement is pretty nice. When you combine that with dead silence and getting a speed boost and things like that, I just think it's a really, really nice, like smooth game when you're talking about movement and things like that. And I hope that the next World War II game is like that. I really hope that World War II is not like COD World War II or Vanguard. Okay, we're gonna call it Vanguard. I really hope they would call, oh, cod van okay you're just camping there that's, that's that's awesome i really hope that cod vanguard or world war ii vanguard is not like this game when it comes to the camping and i really hope it's not like cod world war ii where i'm always get dying to fire shotguns and there's terrible maps and all this other stuff like i just don't want to deal with that you know if they have fun creative maps uh you know i would even say that you know black ops cold wars maps are pretty decent uh, I think that there's only a handful of maps in this game that are decent. Uh, th this map is actually one of them. And I, honestly, I think that this map is the best map in the game. Uh, besides, like, and there's other maps, obviously, that I think are pretty decent. But I just don't really want to have to deal with 
bad maps like please please touch hammer games I, like have some good maps don't do don't pull an arden forest in london docks on me please you know the one thing about free for all in this game bro i'll say the difference between this game and cold war i really don't like how this game is super campy for free for all however i really don't like how cold war's free for all is super chaotic almost every single cold war free for all match feels like a shipment free for all match on this game if that makes sense it's super chaotic there's just so much going on because the spawns are so messed up and screwed i don't know it's just like not enjoyable for me to play i, I really wanted to play more free for all this year and i just wasn't able to but yeah i just i don't know what it is man i just really wanted there to be i don't know i like free for all and the reason i like free for all is because i don't like depending on anybody else <laughs> team balancing is just terrible in cod and it's been worse the past i'd say probably like three four years or so that's been pretty bad for its entirety but it's gotten worse over the years and with scooby's matchmaking it's just it's just terrible just awful but um wait um um it wouldn't shock me if there was chaters in this game, dude. It just wouldn't shock me at all. Back to what I was saying about free-for-all. I just don't tolerate it anymore. So I've just gone and, and I like playing free-for-all because if I'm going to lose, I'd rather lose because I'm sucking balls that game. Well, 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 okay, hold on, pause. I'd much rather lose because I'm a detriment to myself, not because my teammates aren't doing jack shit, you know? That's just me personally. I just don't want to deal with that. So there's a guy over here. Hopefully we can kill him. Bro, who's shooting at me? Oh, I will say I do enjoy just relying on myself. Yeah, I don't really know how many games we're going to use this for. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, that was a that was a Claymore. I think this camo looks really cool, though. It doesn't really change colors like Black Ops Cold War. So like in Black Ops Cold War, you know how it, it kind of goes from like light purple to like a pinkish like a, or like a light pink purple type color. And then it kind of turns blue as well. Yeah, in this, it only it's only purple. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer this version. <laughs> uh, I, I do prefer this version over the uh, over the Black Ops Cold War version. But I mean, like that, that doesn't mean the Black Ops Cold War version is bad. It's just I prefer this one instead. So let's see here. We're actually one kill away from taking the lead. Oh, there's a kill. Nice. Silent has this camo on the Uzi and MP5. Honestly, I don't really know what else to talk about. There's not much really going on. Whenever football starts, that's when these uh, these videos, I'm literally just going to be talking about, uh, honestly, I'm going to be talking about a lot of football and stuff like that. Oh, he won. It's sick. That's lit. I, I think I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, sorry if it's a short video. I tried talking as much as possible because I can't stand this game, so I don't really know like what I want to do. But if you guys did enjoy and you guys want me to hop on someone else's account and use dark ether on modern warfare i can do that i can i can break my sanity and i can do that so let me know down in the comments thanks so much for watching guys and uh yeah i'll see you guys later